Yeah, yeah, what up, guys? We're back. Replicon Radio. Uh, one more for you on this Volition movie rollout. Don't forget, man, go check out the movie Volition. It is out now as I speak. So, July 10th, 2020. Go check it out. Apple TV, Prime Video, other digital platforms. You can purchase it, watch it. Let us know what you guys think. Volition out now. Go check out our movie review as well as our two other interviews with the stars of the movie. So make sure you subscribe to youtube.com slash Replicon Radio. Check out our live show every Monday, 6 to 10 Central, ReplicanRadio.com, and all the other super dope exclusive content available on the channel. So without further ado, let's jump on into uh, our super cool interview with uh, our new friend, Alex. Yeah. Paul and Alex, you guys are all set. Perfect. Awesome. Hey, Hi. Paul. Hey, how are you, man? I'm good, brother. How are you? I'm doing doing well. Doing as best as good as can be, I guess, out here. Um, okay. Right? Right? <laughs> it's crazy, crazy world. Yeah, it's nuts, man. Well, we appreciate you uh, taking the time to hang out with us for a few minutes here. And uh, obviously, we want to talk about Volition. You play Terry. But before that, man, I, I want everybody to kind of get to know to get to know you a little bit better in the short amount of time we can do that um i know yeah, like, you you grew up in in canada but you were originally like a boxer in a metal band so how did we go from that awesomeness to this awesomeness like how did that whole <laughs> <laughs> well I, I i i literally well i have like three generations of boxers in my family so i, I was boxing right out of the womb so i learned i learned it it was always on tv and then you know as, as time went on uh, I got, you know, into high school and junior high and friends with people that played music. And that was just so foreign to me because we didn't have a lot of music in the house. So I would go after school and just watch my friends and jam these amazing metal songs like Priest and, you know, Iron Maid and Fog Hat. Like, it was just yeah. awesome. And then, uh, and like, I'm young. I'm like 15 years old and they were getting ready for a talent show. And there was an argument, and the bass player quit the night before. And so they were going, what are we going to do? Al, Alex, come, come and play, put this on, and then just play that fat string as fast as you can. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I could do that. And so they taught me, like, the easiest version. And literally the second day that I picked up a bass, I was on stage playing with the band wow. and and i and i and i just uh, i shit the bed for sure like i i didn't do well but but uh i was i was on there with them and being like the, the rock star that i never thought i would be um and then we just stuck together and, and from that those same guys we played all through high school and then went from high school right into the road um and playing for years all across canada um, and playing some amazing shows. And, and, and then there was a moment where I was playing on stage and the casting director saw me and asked if I wanted to audition for something. And I'm a yes dude, so I'll say yes to anything and everything. And then I'll figure it out after that. And so I went to the audition and I ended up booking it, which is a huge mistake because then you think you can book everything on your first try. Okay. <laughs> nope, doesn't work that way. And uh, But I ended up booking it, and I just started seeing the world around me there, and it was more of an individual thing to me, um, and, and staying in the creative aspect of it, because, you know, when you're in a band and one person misses practice, you're not uh, together. When you're on your own going for acting, you, you prepare as best as you can, and I liked that aspect of it, that I had control um, to a certain extent, and uh, so that's how it just kind of bled right into each other, and and I just could not stop wanting to act. And especially in the beginning, like I was just being cast as, you know, bouncer number two or thug. Yeah. And I just felt like there was more stories that I, I wanted to tell. And so I got into more producing and putting myself in a position that, you know, I didn't have to do those things. And, and I'm pretty happy that I went out on a limb and, and worked with some amazing people that gave me the opportunity to play roles I probably wouldn't have been able to play before because um I, I just was never given the opportunity so i created the opportunity and and it led me it led me here so i'm really really happy about it that's super awesome man so just to so just to create you know i mean you just have that creativity inside you just found a new way to do it now do you still play music like as a as a 
pastime or professionally at all, or is that just... yeah, man? Yeah, man. No, I jam, I jam once in a while. I definitely jam once in a while. You know, throw on some metal. I, uh, there's a bunch of stunt guys we jam in their basement just to get it all out. But I would love to do another show. It's tough to do a show when I'm always like working. Yeah, and that's a good thing. Um, but I would I would love to. And, and then, you know, COVID happens and you can't work, but yeah. you can't even hang out. So it's like, come on, man. Right. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I, I still I still love playing, man. I do. That's super awesome. So and obviously you've had uh, a ton of uh, a ton of rules along the way since all that happened. You've been in hundreds, I think probably close to hundreds of movies at this point. Uh, big roles and small roles. Uh, are, what are some of your personal highlights along the way until uh, – up until you know current. Oh man, this hell, that's a huge ask, man. Uh, um, <laughs> I think you know one of the ones that stands out for me was working on a show, uh, movie called Blackway, where I I was um, uh, I, I worked with Anthony Hopkins, Ray Liotta, Julia Stiles, and and I and the friendship wow. that I that I got with Anthony Hopkins, and we we were, we started our friendship talking about boxing. And we just literally, like, I was so blown away that he had this, like, he just gravitated towards me. Obviously, he is such an energy, and I was I, and I was a fan, like, for years. So uh, my big thing was, like, don't fangirl, Ponovic. Just don't, <laughs> don't fangirl when you see him. You're here to work. And sure enough, he pops up, and I'm doing my best because I just don't want to fangirl. And he comes up, and he says, hello, my name's Anthony. And, uh, and I... I I lost it in a way I didn't want to fangirl so much that I went overboard and I turned around to him and I went, hey, what's up? And then I turned back around and then I went, oh, you prick. That was such a dick move. Just do you. And I turned around and go, listen, I'm sorry. We're about to do a scene. I'm just so infatuated with you. I'm so fangirling over you. And then he kind of throws some shots at me, and we were laughing after that. And then we started talking boxing. We became friends. We exchanged texts and FaceTiming each other. And it was, it, dude, it was awesome. I'm wow. like FaceTiming with Anthony Hopkins. That's crazy. But the craziest thing was he gave me this, uh, and why I bring him up, he gave me worldly advice. Because I was sitting there, we were talking, and I felt like the second day I could talk about his process. And my hand gestures were, like, going upwards. And I was like, so what did you do with, with you know, Silence of the Lambs, Remains of the Day? Uh, like, how did you prepare to get that type of performance? And, and if you could see me right now, my hand gestures are, like, towards the sky a little bit. Yeah. And he goes, like, how could we get, like, what are we missing? What do you know that we don't know? Like, how can I get there? And he, and, he, and he just looked at me dead in the eye and he goes, you're never going to get there. And my whole face just dropped. I was like, what do, you, what, do you, what do you mean? He goes, the whole time you were talking to me, you had me up on a pedestal that I did not put up there. And you will never reach that pedestal. That pedestal Because anybody that puts a pedestal up will hit their head at the bottom of the pedestal because they will never reach what they think they should be reaching. Wow. So get rid of the pedestal. We just did a scene together. I prepare exactly the same way I do for every movie. Timing and money and the type of movie it is, that's all in the puzzle of the equation. What I've done for this movie and what I've done for past movies is exactly the same. The way you and I just did that scene, it's exactly the way I do it. But you're not going to get there if you look up and, and think that it's somewhere that it's not reachable. And I was blown wow. away, not going to lie. I was, te I was teary-eyed, and I was just like, that was the most beautiful thing that you could say to anybody. Because I love fangirling. I'm a big <laughs> fan of really, like, I see somebody that, I'm, that I like, and I'm, I want them to know. Yeah. I have no tooth in that, because I think that keeps me young. And, I, and, and, and even when other fans that look like that to me, I give them so much respect, because I'm one of them. So... Yeah, that, I think that. Sorry for eating up a lot of time on that, but it's that's one of the things that <laughs> no, that's awesome. That I really, really get. Yeah. That's super yeah. awesome. So before we get in trouble, uh, the new movie uh, Volition is out July 10th on uh, Amazon, Apple TV, all that awesome stuff streaming. How what was it like working on this uh, super awesome sci-fi time traveling, if you will, sort of adventure? Like, how was this for you? Yeah, it, to me it was a it was a blast because I know these guys. I, I've I've seen Ter, uh, 
Tony and Ryan. Um, I've worked with Tony before, uh, John Cassini, Frank Cassini, Adrian, Magda. I've, I've seen them. I've seen them and their work before. Like uh, Mag, Magda and I were on Bat, uh, uh, Caprica, which was a spinoff of Battlestar. Yeah. And um, so I've seen all their work. And John and I have worked on a ton of stuff. So to me, what the best part of it was is that here are a bunch of actors that I know, that I know are talented. We've already have a friendship. And let's go play and make this vision come to life. So that, that to me was one of the biggest things about trusting everybody that was there with a project that was quite peculiar and how it was shot and how it was written, but extremely smart. And so we were all really excited to be a part of it together. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a great movie. Sorry, I, to, inter- yep. oh, sorry to interrupt. We do have time for one more question. Perfect. Um, so, yeah, definitely everybody go check out the movie. I got one more question, and it's going to make no sense at all. Um, another show that you're very popular for is uh, Snowpiercer, the new Snowpiercer that's blowing up all over the place. Have you heard the, uh, the uh, I don't know what you call it, the, the rumor that this is some sort of strange, dark sequel to Willy Wonka? <laughs> Honestly, somebody mentioned that to me, like, first couple days of shooting and i was like i cannot research this i can't put my head in this because i feel like it'll take me right off the rails so i and i have i've heard of it i haven't researched it but i did hear of it it's madness that's what i I had i had to waste my last question on that it's madness um maybe when you get a chance it's crazy and it kind of works too so um that's awesome and and that's what everyone's (laughs) been saying everyone's been going like this it works this way yeah. And I, I, I'm, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna look. Especially it with now. the movie. I don't. I mean, obviously, the series can turn some more other direction if it chooses. But uh, as the movie was, and this, right. you know, this is based on that. So awesome, man. Well, we can. I could definitely talk to you all day. It was a pleasure. I know we didn't. We didn't have much time, but uh, congratulations on all of it. On Snowpiercer, um, all the other shows and the things you've done. And uh, hopefully, we'll see you back. Uh, doing some music, and everybody go check out Volition uh, Friday, July 10th on all streaming. Thanks, ma'am. Thanks, brother. Have a good one.